in the east part of Europe for the first time since the Second World War, part of a nation has been annexed in breach of all the norms of international law. We need that strength to push back against this resurgent Russian nationalism and to make clear to Eastern Europe that the obligations we have as part of NATO and the obligations we have as members of the human race mean that we have to be strong and clear in defense of those values right on the doorstep of Europe. This will be important, not only in terms of how our relationship with Russia develops over time, but it will also send an important signal about the nature of our relationship with China too. The single biggest geopolitical change in my children's lifetime will be the emergence of China as a huge economic and then political power. I believe passionately in a partnership with China. I think the relationship between America and China will be of huge importance for the prosperity of the world and for its peace. But I believe again that we are better able to have that partnership on the right terms if we are strong and clear in defense of our own values. We need to partner them, not least on the issue of climate change, where if we want the world to take a different direction, as I believe it has to, the relationship between America and China will be essential. But in any event, we know and can see from the visit of the Japanese Prime Minister here there are going to be tensions in Asia. And if we want to play the right role in trying to ensure that those tensions do not get out of hand and that we maintain peace in the region, we will need to be strong. 